I was about almost 20 years of age and I absolutely head over heels fell in love. I went into a masjid in Ramadan and I heard a remarkable scholar explain the Quran. I had not read the Quran except in translation before that day. And I heard him speak about the Quran in the form of almost a conversation. And you know the Quran is Allah Azza wa Jal speaking to us directly. And it felt like that for me for the first time. And he was doing this every night of Ramadan for about four hours every night to go through the entire Quran in this fashion. And I attended this entire series with him because I was hooked completely. I was mesmerized by this book. I was completely overwhelmed that I didn't have any clue, no idea what this book was that was always there. And I always thought, yeah, I've read something from it or some translation or something. I have an idea what it says. I guess I know what it, I know what it has to say. But when I heard what it really had to say for the first time, I felt like there's this person in there's this person, this, this book that I love so much, and I have no relationship with it. And of course, the barriers were many, including the knowledge of it. But of course, even the language, I had no idea what the Arabic language was, not a clue. The only thing I could do at that time, you know what it was, is to make dua. So I just asked Allah something very simple. I didn't even know how to ask it in Arabic or anything. I didn't know any du'as by heart. So I just asked Allah, Oh Allah, I love your book. I just, I love your book. And I'd love nothing more but to learn it and to teach it. Just make it easy for me to learn it. And make it easy for me to teach it. Because I love your book. That's all I asked. And I swear to you by Allah, I am a terrible student of anything. Terrible. I mean, especially languages. I'm absolutely horrendous. I was not a good student in college. I used to hate studying. The you know, if anybody, if if I ever had sleep problems, the easiest way to meet for me to catch some sleep was to open up a textbook. Ten seconds later, I'll have 12, 13 hours of solid sleep because <laughs> nothing will knock me out like studying. But this teacher who was presenting the Qur'an also happened to be teaching an Arabic class. And when I attended his class, wallahi, it was like knots opening up. I couldn't stop studying. I couldn't stop, I couldn't put the books down. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was doing like conjugations in my sleep. <laughs> Going through grammar in my sleep. I was studying it in the train. I became, I was doing it at work, at school, all the time. I just became obsessed with it. And wallahi, what people around me found so difficult Allah made it so easy for me. And I knew something had just happened. Allah has given me a gift in response to my dua. And wallahi, I tell you, to this day, if I try to study anything else, I have a hard time. But when I study Quran, I can spend hours and hours and hours and it's easy for me. Walhamdulillah, it's a gift of Allah to me. But this is something that I've personally experienced in terms of the power of dua. Just the power of dua. Subhanallah, I don't mean to say this is a means of boasting, but look, I have, walhamdulillah, I've taught Arabic courses all over the country, maybe close to now 15,000 students, subhanallah. And not any of them have benefited anything except from the gift that Allah has given. And if they're able to continue that, and enti that entire benefit starts from one dua, as far as I'm concerned, subhanallah. So that was a little bit about my personal story.